Hi y'all, Don here with Southern Backyard Cooking. Today's video, I'm going to compare my Z Grills Model D1000. I've had this about a year and a half now to my new Oklahoma Joe's Ryder DLX 1200 Generation 2 Smoker. I'm going to give an honest review of these two and let you decide which one is the best. Alright, so the first thing we want to talk about is hopper size. On the Z-Grill, it has a 20 pound capacity. As you can see, I have some pellets left over from my last cook. On the Oklahoma Joe's, it also has a 20 pound capacity. But as you notice, there are no pellets left in the pellet hopper. Hopper, I still have pellets in here. That's because this particular model of the Z-Grills does not have a pellet dump. On the Oklahoma Joe's, you see, we do not have any pellets in here, and that's because we have a pellet dump. What we need to do on the Oklahoma Joe's is put our Oklahoma Joe pellet bucket up underneath it, and then we just pull this lever out, and that will dump all the pellets out. So from inside, you can see it actually opens those two flaps and allows all those pellets to flow right into my bucket down there. In previous videos, I've said in my Z grills, I store my pellets in one gallon Ziploc bags and I get three to four hours out of each bag. One of the reasons I don't put too many pellets in the hopper is that I don't want them left in here like they are here so that they have a chance to collect the humidity and the water and the moisture that comes with it and destroy these pellets. So one of the things I want to do on the Oklahoma Joe's is I want to put a full 20 pound bag in here for every cook. Remember though, at the end of the cook, I go into shutdown, I'm going to dump them into my pellet bucket. So I'm not going to have that issue. I'm able to seal the pellet bucket and I don't have to put them into my one gallon bags any longer. Our next feature I'm going to talk about is the ash dump system. On the Z grills, it has what is called an ash clean out tray. So basically this tray in the back will come out and let you clean the ashes on the bottom. But it does not clean out the actual ashes from the fire pot. On the Oklahoma Joe's though, we get down here and we have an ash clean out. This is the actual clean out from the fire pot. So I'm unscrewing it and you can see how many ashes I have in there. This is from just one cook. So we wanna make sure that we dump this, especially after a long cook. While we are looking on the inside and looking at the grates, all the grates here are porcelain. I have three different levels, a full set on the bottom, almost a full set in the middle, and a half set in at the top. I can move these and take them out if I Oklahoma have. Joe's, I have my bottom rack. So each of these two racks are adjustable depending on what I'm gonna cook. I don't have to have any, any of these racks in it other than the bottom one, just same as the Z-Grill. When I look at size, the Oklahoma Joe is 1,234 square inches of cooking space, and the Z-Grill is 1,056 square inches of cooking space. Here on my Z-Grills, you can see my thermostat, and it goes up to what is called high. High is gonna be 450 degrees and it has a shutdown cycle, a smoke cycle. So the smoke cycle is when we first turn it on and the shutdown cycle is when we get ready to shut it down. On the Oklahoma Joe's I have my digital. I turn it to the on by hitting the power button. I turn my dial which will turn my temperature up. As you notice it starts here at 200 degrees and it will go all the way up to 650. Okay, once I select the temperature, I just push the button in 
and it will set that temperature. I have a shutdown feature on it also. The shutdown on this uh, takes about 30 minutes. First thing we're gonna do on the shutdown is dump all the pellets, and then it's gonna burn all those extra pellets that are in the auger chamber. I have meat probes. The Z-Grill does not come with any meat probes. I have four places to put them, and it comes with two meat probes. Both of these are normal type thermostats. They are not PID thermostats. PID thermostats run real tight on temperatures. Uh, basically, both of these, when it reads the thermostat, the temperature inside, and it's not what we want, it sends a signal to the auger to turn it on. And it's gonna turn that auger on for a preset time and push pellets in there. So this gives us a wide range sometimes in how hot our inside gets. Generally on my Z grills, I get somewhere around 15 to 25 degrees swing. So far that I've noticed on my Oklahoma Joes, I also get about a 25 degree swing. So if you know that this is gonna happen on both of them, I generally try to, if I wanna cook at 225, I will set them at 200. I adjust my cooking temperature by what I know the inside temperature is gonna end up being. Okay, I mentioned that both of the thermostats on these were normal thermostats. The Z Grill's newer model, it does come with a wireless thermostat, still not a PID, and I'm talking about for their higher end model. The Oklahoma Joes, because this is a newer model, this is the generation two, which has been out just a few short months, I am disappointed that one, it's not wireless. I want to be able to see my temperature of my meats anywhere I am. So I'm still gonna have to use my wireless thermostats versus using the probes that they have. Because I am not gonna sit out here in the heat and watch these or have to walk in and out when I can sit inside. That I believe is a big mistake that Oklahoma Joe's did is not making this wireless. And I mean wireless is it's not over Wi-Fi. My big point is the list price on this is $750. The new model is about $1,200. It has Wi-Fi. The list price on this is $1,200. And it's a newer model. And it does not have Wi-Fi. I think that's a big knock. If I'm looking at investing in a newer, better than low-end smoker, I want to have that Wi-Fi. Nowadays, a lot of the inexpensive $500 smokers have got Wi-Fi in them. So when I start talking about my consistency in cooking and my Z grills, I have one smokestack and it's over here. So the heat starts in the center where my heat chamber is and it's gonna come up, heat rises. And because of my smokestack being over here, it is naturally gonna flow toward the smokestack. So on the far left-hand side, I'm usually gonna be a little cooler than I am on the right-hand side. On my Oklahoma Joes, I have smokestacks on both sides, which allows that heat to rise up and kind of disperse evenly across. You're still gonna have hot spots in both. So you need to play with it and learn your smoker to determine where's the best place to cook. If I'm cooking like I do a lot of times here as I cook for my family and friends, I will fill the smoker up, whichever one I'm using. I'm gonna fill them up with as much meat as in there as I can. Most of the times, like this coming 4th of July, I am gonna be cooking a lot of baby back ribs. I know on here, I can fit two racks on the top, I can fit three racks here in the middle, and I can fit three to four racks on the bottom. On my Oklahoma Joes, I can fit three racks top, three racks center, and generally about six racks on the bottom. So I'm gonna fill that up. This is probably a little bit more consistently across 
than my Z grills, but I still want to rotate my meat somewhat. I don't want it to sit all in one spot the whole time because if it's a hot spot, one or two racks are going to cook a lot quicker than the other racks. And then either I'll have raw, if I pull them all at the same time, either they'll be raw or they'll be burnt. And I don't want that. And I don't want to pull certain racks at different times. I want everything to be ready at the same time. All right, my next theory I want to talk about is smoke flavor. I know everybody says a pellet smoker, you're not gonna get as much smoke flavor as you will a stack stick smoker, something like that, and that's true. But depending on what pellet you use and what pellet smoker you have, you can get quite a bit of smoke. One of the things I've already noticed in cooking with the two is yeah, at 200, 225, my Z grills gets a good smoke. I get a good smoke ring on my pork butts, my brisket, my ribs, everything. My Oklahoma Joe's, I've only cooked a pork butt in it so far, but to me, this got a lot more smoke. It will have so much better of a bark on the outside. And you'll be able to see this on my next video that will come out next week. When I even look at the two while they're cooking, the Oklahoma Joe's puts out so much more smoke than my Z grills. I have smoke coming out from every crevice of the Oklahoma Joe's. Okay, for some of y'all that have watched several of my videos, uh, you know I, I predominantly smoke in my smokers. In both of them, you can do grilling. I have done that with my fillets, reverse seared fillets on my uh, Z grill and it comes out really well. The problem I had when I was doing the reverse sear is of course I want to get that temperature up. This only goes to 450. I never really got a real good sear on those fillets doing that reverse sear. On my Oklahoma Joe's I have a lever right here for sear and smoke and in this area here is my sear zone so I can be cooking over on the sides of that sear zone and be cooking very well when I'm grilling. And if I want to get that sear on there, all I have to put it is right over that sear zone. It gets up to 650. It's gonna sear that meat very quickly. Now, the one thing you have to do because it is so hot and gonna do that very quickly is you have to watch it. You don't want it to sit on there two or three minutes. A minute and it's probably about enough. Okay, so now we come toward the end. Which one is better? My choice. I like both of them. There's pros and cons for each one of them. I'm gonna try the Oklahoma Joe's several more times. I think the smoke that it gets out really helps. I like changing and using different types of pellets and by not having to burn off an excess amount of pellets in my pellet hopper, this is a good choice. I also may end up doing more grilling on it because I can get to a higher temperature. But which one is better for you? That's kind of up to you. What features are important to you? You know, write all those down. It may not be either one of these two. Hopefully in the next two to three months, I'll be able to get a different or additional models of different smokers to where I can do more comparisons. And until next time, guys, y'all have a great one.